I think the most common thing that you see is a full acceleration of really? change of control. Yes. Now, um, there are different issues with private companies and public companies, obviously related to marketability. Yeah. Right? Um, with, with a private company, you can't sell the stock necessarily um, on the open market, obviously. Yeah. Um, there are also issues associated with the uh, 280G that I just mentioned, right. the, um, which is the parachute tax, the, the um, uh, what happens when the individual parachutes out and receives right. all this compensation that might um, trigger those tax provisions. With a private company, there's certain ways that that might be able to be dealt with yeah. that kind of addresses the tax situation that is not available in a public company situation. Yeah. So um, certainly from if I'm representing an executive, I'd like to see full acceleration and that's what I would certainly argue for. Yeah. Um, but it would be dual trigger. Yes, it would be dual trigger because again, I haven't seen a single trigger. Yeah. I, I honestly can't remember the last time I've seen a single trigger. Uh -huh. um, but certainly you want to negotiate for that full acceleration in connection right. with the change of control because that's the whole point, right? Yeah. You foster this organization, you take it to that point, you know, Nuco comes in, they're either buying all the assets or the stock or whatever it may be, and um, you know, that's the point of your staying and right. remaining incentivized to stay. Um, so that you get the uh, benefit at the end. And the right. way to get the benefit, of course, is through the equity.